can you see it will always remain 70% of the overall browser size so irrespective of any browser size you're watching your website on it will always move it and keep it exactly center aligned and it will always occupy 70% of the overall browser size isn't that great all right I'll close it now as you can see that I have almost done with all my styling and all the styles right now are lying inside this HTML page I want it to be moved to an external CSS file because once I do that I can apply the CSS style to all my other pages which are still unformatted so far okay so what I'll do I'll select I'll press shift and select all the CSS rules I'll right click and click on move CSS rules if I click on it it will give me this dialog box asking me as to where do I want to move this CSS rules I want to move it to a new style sheet okay I'll click OK it'll ask me where do you want to save this style sheet I'll have created a folder of style sheet and I'll name it main content and save it well nothing had changed what has changed majorly is that I have a different style sheet file called main content CSS okay now let me connect this to the rest of the pages okay so I'll just click on connect attach style sheet I'll browse to my style sheet file which is lying in the style sheet folder this is my style sheet file I'll click on it and I'll click OK it's asking me how do I want to do this I want to link it I don't want to import the content I just want to link it and since I am designing this web page for a computer screen I'll choose screen I'll click OK alright it looks fine but then where is my diff tag well it is there but I need to tell it to insert all this text inside the diff tag so I'll select the text if I work if you're working on a classic view you can click on this insert diff tag now wrap around where container okay see that simple isn't it now all my text is inserted inside this diff tag with the, pr the properties which we had specified in the container tag similarly I do the same to the order all the rest click on members click on attach attach the main content as link in screen click OK select the text insert the div tag and insert it in container yeah I'll go to media attach as a link for screen okay select insert diff tag wrap around container right contact attach link screen okay select it insert where container yeah so I have pretty much everything looks just the same okay what we are going to do next is that we're going to actually put this navigation panel in all the pages and we're going to use a function called library now that is a part of the next tutorial